Welcome back to another Bob Last. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is a continuation of the last one where we talked about value, contrast, and oh yeah, light source. But only this time, it's all gonna be about color. Doing the same thing, but only in color. And I'm going to be painting, well, let's do a coffee cup. I've already done my practice pieces here this morning. I have my 30 by 30 inch Cheap Joe, wonderful signature canvas ready to go. I have my Holbein paints, my acrylic paints, and do you know they also make about 22 different kinds of gessos? So I'm going to put down my mid-tone right off the bat. Remember, this is what we did last time. Mid-tone, dark against light, dark against light. I know you've heard me say that a thousand times. This time we're going to do it in color. Here's my canvas. Here's how I put on my gesso. I don't use a brush. I love these colored gessos from Holbein. They pour out, they're in the, look at that. In a bag, and the cool is that? I know some artists that use that just as their color. This is my, my ground, it's my gesso, and it's my mid-tone, all at the same time. And I use a piece of cardboard, just a piece of foam board, quarter inch foam. Look at that. I love doing this. I'm putting down the mid-tone, right on that luscious stuff. Oh, the color is very, very rich. And it's my gesso, due for the price of one. Have my mid-tone, there we go. I'm gonna let it dry, now I'm gonna paint. And referring to my own uh, value chart, here it shows the light source, bright lights, theatrical lighting. I'm just gonna stick this right up in here. I've already done a couple of my practice pieces. See, light against dark, light against dark, just like this. This is a red cup, so I start off with orange, the mid-tone, right? So I put the brightest bright and the darkest dark away from the light source, so look what we have. Dark against light, dark against light. That's the whole idea. I'm gonna get painting now, right now. I'm gonna do a loose sketch. I have my acrylic paints out already. Big brush. I love working large, don't you? So, all right. Perfect. Perfect. The size of the cup. Well, first of all, I have a radius front lip. The cup's going to be the same radius on the bottom. Make it kind of wonky. I'm going to put some coffee in it. That's gonna be the coffee. Alrighty, sitting on a table. Let's put a table here, somewhere around in here. Now the light's coming this way. So it's gonna be light over here, dark on this side. That means the shadow's gonna be coming away from the cup. Pretty basic right now at this point. Right? Now let's put a handle in here. Practice, practice, practice. Now I want to start right off the bat. I have the light color in my brush. So the light part of the cup, short choppy strokes, short choppy strokes, light shining on the inside of that cup also. So while I have that color in the brush, it's gonna go on the inside of the cup. Light shining across here, right? Dark, light, dark light so let's go let's get some light over here right now it's monochromatic i'll change the color on the next step this is just to remind me all right big brush no little brushes let's go to the dark side Whoa. What's really nice about having this orange gesso, it sneaks through, peeks through. It's what gives it its je ne sais quoi, huh? It's all the colors popping all over the place. Let's go on the inside of the cup where no light is hitting it. And while we're 
over here. This is the back wall. No lights hitting it. Again, let some of that orange peek through. Short, choppy strokes. There we go. Make it even richer inside here. There we go. Woo! Even darker. Wow. Shadow. Oh, for fun, let's make it blue. Getting the basic shapes down first. Don't try and start off with detail. Under every great painting is a great abstract painting, I say anyway. And then, so see, dark, light, dark, light. Notice how you have paint everywhere, all over the place. Don't stay in one area and finish it, then move to the next. You should paint everywhere. Get some coffee in here. Wow. Oh, I love it when it drips like that, huh? <laughs> Don't go chasing it. It is a loose painting. Here we go. I'm going to lighten up the table now. And as it goes further away, it's going to be a little bit darker. Keep checking with dark light, dark light at this point. Color everywhere right now, right? Good time to, is to look at it through that red piece of plexiglass, the value finder to see if I have enough lights and darks. Probably not yet. I'm gonna add some more darks. Right now. There we go. By making the darks darker, the lights are brighter. By making the brights brighter, the darks go darker. I love all this stuff that's going on in here. Now I'm going to make the background bluish. Cool colors will recede, warm colors come forward. So the coffee cup and the table will be warm and red and orange, those colors, and the background will be on the blue-green side. It pushes it back further. I'm going to let this dry for about a minute. I'll be right back, don't go away. And now, the next layer. Many layers, right? I'm going to adjust the color to my original sketch. Here we go. I wanna be able to push some of this. Whoa! I'll lower the table a little bit too. Lots of white. Yeah, I like the proportion better. Again, keep it, keep it very loose, even at this level. I'm constantly redrawing it too. Adjusting the color and redrawing it. Big handle. Better. Okay, I'm staying in one area too long. Whoa, move on. Again, see how that's some of that under color of orange peek through. It gives it that sparkle. As I'm getting further away from the light area, look, I'm going darker.
Don't blend it. This is not an airbrush class. This is painting. It's getting richer and richer because this is the dark side. See how it makes that, that cup pop out now? There's my table, there's my table. There, better. More so, all right. So dark against light, dark against light. Oh, I'm gonna make it even lighter. I'm gonna work on the table now. Make the table really light. Redrawing it, yeah, good. And bottom of the cup. And make sure it comes out on the shadow, there we go. Bright, sunny table this morning. brush, why not? Some mug. Big fat lip. It's, it's not a teacup. Again, white on the brush. Maybe I'll put some brightness over here. Whoa. Inside of here, make this even darker. Well, and over here. Adjust the colors again, constantly adjusting, working all over. That shadow is just a little bit too dark. It's okay. Now it's sitting down better. I'm even going to put some. Coffee has a lot of color in it. Balancing colors from all over the place. There we go. And reflecting color too. So dark against light, dark against light. It's coming along. I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna add a little bit of green. Be right back. And now the next layer. I'm gonna use some green all over the place. Mixing up. That middle green, add some yellow to it so it's even ah, more Kelly green. Look at this. Whoa. None, none of this part makes sense, but I sure do love doing it. There we go. Green. There we go. Even on the table. Even on the table. Oh. There we go. Letting all those other layers peek through also. And over here a little bit too. 
Phew. I'm gonna brighten up the yellow. Get back to constantly light against dark, light against dark. Here we go. Wow. So I do my mixing by and blending by short choppy strokes. Dark and light, dark and light. Here we go, darker. Let's really make this rich back in here. Ah. And underneath here. This is a good time to look at it through this again. Even darker. It wants to be even darker. Oof. And I could tell by looking at this, it wanted to be darker. It was too much of the same value as over here, believe, even though it was a different color. There we go. Much better. It pops all over the place. Now I can see the lights and the darks much better. You want to see it through here? That's how we do a coffee cup. Stay tuned. I can't wait to show you the next one. It's going to be about painting a vase of flowers using the same technique, dark light, dark light. See you on the next Bob Blast. Thanks for watching. Hi there. Hey, this year I'm doing a lot of workshops, especially abstract painting and collage workshops. It seems to be the most popular, thank you very much, and I love doing them. So the, the, the ones that are coming up right away, Key West in February, all right? Los Angeles area in March, Sedona in May, Hudson River Valley in May, Mendocino, California, August, all abstract painting and collage workshops. I'm doing many more of those, but to see more, look at my workshop schedule. I'll see you the next time.